In the next 60 seconds, I'm going to show you how you can turn a daytime image into a nighttime image using Affinity Photo with one simple adjustment. Here is the image we will turn into nighttime. The adjustment we are going to use is the LUT adjustment. From the Adjustments panel, let's select the LUT adjustment and select the LUT I have created for you. The link of the LUT file is in the description. It is called Day to Night. With one simple adjustment, the image has been transformed from daytime to an early nighttime. Depending on your image, the results may vary, but most of the time this LUT adjustment is a good base for further adjustments. I hope you like this video and keep watching for some additional tips and inspiration. To make this image more interesting, we can add a curves adjustment, which will add some extra shine to the water as if it was reflecting the moonlight. Another tip is duplicating the initial LUT adjustment and move it to the top. When we change its blend mode to difference, it will darken a bit more and remove the bluish colors. Optionally, we can move this adjustment just above the image. This will retain the colors, but will darken the image. By adjusting the opacity, we can really fine-tune it to our needs. Pretty awesome! Here is another image. I already applied the two LUT adjustments. The first is in normal blend mode and the second in difference blend mode. See how much difference that already makes. But it doesn't feel like night yet, so here is the next tip. Let's add a levels adjustment and put it into lab mode. If I now modify the lightness channel, we get a very nice result. You can also experiment with the B component. By adjusting the black levels, we can add more blue to the image, which works very well with night images. Or you can adjust the whites to add more orange tints, which will result in a more late sunset effect. Here is an example of a composition for your inspiration. Let me turn on the layers and see what the end result looks like. Pretty awesome! Let's quickly go through the layers. We start with our two LUT adjustments, followed by a curves adjustment to bring back some contrast. Next on the list is a group containing the light coming out from the lighthouse. As you notice, this made the image quite brighter. To counter that, I have added a curves adjustment to darken things up again. As I didn't want to affect the light beam, I have used a mask. And finally, a selective color adjustment to make it more bluish, which really fits well with this composition. Pretty cool! Here is another image for inspiration. If I turn off the adjustments, we can see where we started from. A pretty big difference. Again, it all started with the LUT adjustment I showed in the beginning of the video. Thank you for watching and until the next video.